Gemini, this is all about you. Gemini, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to get right into it, but first, let me say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all those Geminis out there. Thank you so much for the way that you have helped the channel grow, for interacting, for those awesome communications. I'm so grateful for it. Let's keep it rolling into the next year, Gemini, because I know that 2020 is going to be an exceptional year. So this is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, Gemini Rising, wherever Gemini energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days out. So Gemini, Gemini, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click subscribe, help the channel grow, and ring that bell so you know when I go live. Okay. You know what? You don't want to be seen right now. That's what it is. This is almost feeling for some reason is like this this is an like a mentality of feeling a feeling diminished. But I don't think that you completely feel diminished. I feel like you just don't want to be seen right now. There's something this is this is your crowning energy. So it's it's not like you don't have a strong sense of yourself, but it's it has been compromised for some reason and I don't I don't know why we're going to get into that. There's just uh, really maybe in terms of the direction of your life and where you want it to go has been stressing you out lately. And you don't really want to be, you're a very social person, but you don't really want to be social right now. You don't want to be social during this time, the celebration time, this holiday time. It, maybe it drains you. It's, it's like social Monday through Friday, every other day of the common week. But this is kind of like maybe bogging you down. There's something that you want to work on and you want to put the focus on yourself. You don't want to, you don't want to put the focus outside of yourself. And maybe too many people being around or too many people paying attention to you will distract you from what you really want to get done. It's almost like there's a sense of attention distracting you, Gemini of too much attention distracting you and depleting you from who you are, maybe expecting you to be something that you're not or finding that you're getting lost in all the crowds that you associate yourself with, a feeling of being depleted because of too much recognition, um, a limited sense of self. There is a diminished and limited sense of self. So something has happened to compromise how you feel about your capabilities and where you're going. And I think it has to do with confusion. And it has to do with maybe looking back, which you guys usually don't do. <clears throat> but there is something that you are looking back on. There's something that you, um, looking, maybe looking over the past year, or maybe looking over what's happened to you. There is a sense of, wow. Um, yeah, you're closed off. This energy is just being closed off. Closed off and defensive. So let's see where the rest of this reading takes us, Gemini. Closed off and defensive. There could be a sense of stubbornness too. Stubbornness in that you don't want any other opportunity. You don't want any other potential. You don't want anything else. You know what you want. You only want one thing and you're stuck on it. Or you're deciding to stay stuck on it. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. Usually it's negative energy, but... Negative and positive are all about balance anyway. Let it shine. You have something to say. There's something that you have to say regarding a past issue, an issue that you don't want to let go. You don't want to let, it's like you don't want to give up on it. You feel like you, have, you haven't been heard. You feel like your communications and what you had to say, probably because people don't agree with you or people haven't agreed with you. And so you're going to keep, you're going to, in other words, you're going to keep droning the point. It, until people agree with you and side with you and see your side. So there's some sort of issue. I don't know. It could be legal matters. It could be with work. It could be with relationships. Right now, it's a little too early to tell. But this is definitely something that you're stuck on and you refuse to let go of because of the fact that people didn't hear you. They didn't hear you. And so you're talking about it. This is a Scorpio too. This is Scorpionic energy rising above the ashes. But this is definitely, it's interesting that, that the peacock insists upon attention, but the truth is the peacock only flails its tail when it's being defensive. And even though it's very beautiful, it's not prancing. It's either mating or being defensive. So you're either protecting something that you care about and you refuse to give up on it, or you refuse to entertain any other options besides this one option, or you're prancing around like you, you found somebody that you want to be with 
or you found an opportunity that you want and you're insisting upon it. And honestly, it's almost like there's no way that anybody's going to hear anything different because until you get your way, you're not moving. Yeah, this is definitely... Um, Somebody not hearing you. Somebody disagreeing with you. Could be dealing with scorpionic energy. This is um, this is disconnect from spirit. Co-create with spirit. Um, this is disconnect from spirit. This is not listening. You're feeling like somebody isn't hearing you or isn't listening. You're feeling like somebody isn't even listening to what's best for them. And maybe just maybe you're trying to share that. Or it's almost like you're you're tr like intentionally going against the grain. Because you in <clears throat> intuitively know that there is no. Surrender now is upside down too. No, you refuse to surrender. You're not giving up. This is, this is tenac tenacity and determination. You refuse to give up. Almost in the light of. You, it's almost Gemini. To me, it's almost like this energy of you defying the gods. Time for a beginner mind extremely defensive you got your spikes out and you're not even trying you're like um you, you know you're you're being abrasive i think very being very prickly this week and the reason is because you're just not going to let it to let it go you're not going to give up um this is the central energy some sort of defensiveness defending yourself you have to defend yourself against an issue no you refuse you you've turned away an offer it's almost like an offer has come in but you don't think the offer is a good one you think it's a bull a, a bs one that's what you think you're like, no, this, that's not even aligned with what's good or what's right. I'm not having that. And you're like, nope. Like, this is usually the moth to the flame. Attracted? No. You're like, reject. Nope, not for me. Peace the fuck out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Peace out. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Nope. Time for a beginner mind. Interesting. Because this is very much you not having an open mind. It's almost like you're 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 coming up against somebody who is is stubborn and won't refuse, like refuses to move, like refuses to move. But on the other side, you're actually refusing to move too. But from the way that you see it, they've been misinformed, and they've been um, they don't know what the hell they're doing. And, and you, you're basically refusing to let this person have their way. Bring a gentle touch. This is the way through. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is the energy of new love or um, the potential for love, a new start, a new beginning in love. Um, this, is, this is also just um, maybe instead of insisting so hard, because I know you're going into this with a lot of passion. I know you're going into this circumstance with a lot of, no, it's got to be this way. This is be a little bit more malleable. Open up your mind and open up your heart. Act as if. Maybe this is a good card for you too. Um, maybe um, act as if everything is okay. No, no, no. Mm, this is fake it till you make it. That's what this is. That's what this is. In other words, if that's what you're doing, one of your strategies is going to be acting like Acting like you understand, acting like you're listening, acting like you're open-minded. Really, you just want to get intel and information. That's that's a sense of um, you know how to play this game. You understand who you're working it with and how stubborn these people are. So you're basically getting the understanding of you're going to have to sort of pretend. In other words, to it's almost like to understand what's really going on, it's almost like going undercover this is a strategy that you have tend to the small things Ooh, like a fly on the wall or like a mouse like a fly on the wall or a mouse behind the walls i think you have eyes and ears everywhere or you feel like somebody's got eyes and ears everywhere on you and you don't like the feeling and that's why you're closed off and that's why you're defensive and i can tell you right now if you've been getting that feeling you're absolutely correct somebody definitely has their eyes and ears on you Time for a deep dive. This is something to do with love. It could be an ex-lover that is continuing to stalk you. Dream the world into being. Somebody that you wanted to let go a long time ago and they just keep showing up. Or 
This is an old situation that just keeps showing up, a persistent situation that continues to irritate you and you feel like it just won't let you go, it just won't die. This is something that just keeps coming up, coming up, coming up from the past. Um, it could very well be, um, it could very well be a remnant from an old relationship. So it doesn't necessarily have to be an ex that's stalking you. It could be like a divorce that you went through and it's like you still have to pay alimony and the, uh, you, your spouse, your ex-spouse is, is constantly trying to get more alimony. It could be like that. This, this nagging, keep coming after you, won't let things go, very stubborn energy. I'm feeling really bogged down by that for the next seven days, feeling really burdened by that. And that's maybe why you're a little bit prickly, a little bit defensive this week. Know your worth. Here it is. Know your worth. So you, you, for who you are, are not pretending. You're like, I don't give a you know what. I'm not going to cover this up. I'm not going to, you know, um, um, hide my stink in perfume. This is, I'm just going to let it all out. I know who I am I and, and this is who I am. It could also be you or them trying to cover up the stink of their behavior by putting it into some like gentle context. Like, oh, but I'm, you know, they're acting like they're all nice. They're acting so gentle. They're acting so kind. Really, they're just a pest. <laughs> That's what they are. They're acting, it's almost like you feel like, or this could be vice versa. This could be your energy. I hope it's not, but this could be vice versa, Gemini, where they feel like you're acting good or you feel like they're acting good, but they're not really sincere about it. That's, this is a really interesting read. Truth transcends illusion. So grounding your energy is this sense of the truth. It's this, is this, this determined understanding of what the truth is and you're going to let it come through. Or they're, they're acting like that toward you. It's almost like, I know the truth. I know that you love me or I know that you still want me and they won't let it go. And they just keep coming back and coming back and coming back. But the grounding energy, so it's a mindset. It's almost like it's almost like you or them or both of you think you know the truth and are determined to fight or stand your ground. It's almost like a, a stand standoff. You're almost at a standoff. That's what that's what this energy is. But it's also saying that the truth is gonna come out. No matter what you know BS is happening on either side, the truth is coming out between everything. It's over the next seven days. It's going to just, it's just going to clear up. Maybe even a third party situation getting involved to say, no, 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 no. I've listened to both sides. This is what's going on. And we got to get rid of this. We got to let it go. We got to, um, there is going to be a dissolving or a relinquishing. The truth will out. So there's this energy of stubbornness on both sides, confrontation on both sides. There's an energy of somebody being persistent, not letting anything go. Um, and pretending like, acting like they're not what they really are. Acting like they're not, um, and this could be not a they, this could be like a circumstance or, um, 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 you know, um, hi pigeons, I love them. This could be um, a situation, this could be situational. Like, you know that it's not benign. You could see the spikes. You don't care how people are trying to dress it up. You, you can see through it. Or that's that's the energy. It's almost like it's almost like getting so lost in what you're not that you forgot who you are and you're actually believing your own BS. And it's it's I hope it's not you. This generally is what you feel, I think, about another group or another situation. Let me turn the um the camera around. I'm gonna hold on. There you are, and it's a very large spread. And you see this is grounding. The energy truth transcends illusion. And this is definitely illusion. So you know deep down inside, Gemini, that the truth is going to come out. You absolutely know. And whether or not that truth worries you or you can't wait for the truth to come out to catch somebody's fake ass out, you know that it's coming out because you insist on it. This is an energy of somebody insisting, of an insistence upon. Um, one or the other, or this, this is an energy of somebody who is is persistent and and stubborn and will not let things move forward will not let things move forward until this is resolved because there's an issue that keeps coming back and it's it's driven by this energy of maybe pretending to be nicer than it is it's not really nice it's dressed up it's really a big old pest right but it's like oh no 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 look at 
I'm not really that spiky. I'm not, I'm not really that prickly. I'm, I'm doing the right thing. I'm being very loving. I'm being open, but it's fake. And you know, it's fake. There's an energy of, of, or it's, or this is your energy of trying to pretend like everything is okay, of trying to act polite and be, um, be generous with somebody, even though they bother you like, you know what? They bother you like crazy. It's eating away at you little by little and you're, you're trying to make it everything okay, but it's not. But this is just definitely the energy of, of trying to make something look like it's okay when it's not. It's almost like you get it. You know the truth. It's not even real. It's not even aligned with what is. And, and you refuse. You literally refuse to like to like give in to the you know what because you know how upside down it is this is um jaded love some sort of disappointed love and like i said it could be love of a career it could be love of a person this isn't necessarily just somebody who's talking somebody and who won't let them go but this is also a, and it could be like from your past a, a past marriage like i said a past ex that won't let things go, that keeps coming back. Maybe it's even trying to hide out. They're pretending like they care about you, but really they're just sort of obsessed with you. Or they're trying to act, it's almost like they're trying to cover up their own stink. So this is the energy, it could be you, it could be flipped. This is the energy of somebody trying to cover up their own stink, but also you saying, hey, this is who I am. I'm not putting flowers over my skunk, my skunk, uh, my skunk spray. I'm not doing it. I don't, I don't, do you even see who I really am? That's what this energy is. Because I think that if you did, you would have let go a long time ago. What you're holding on to is not real. Don't worry. There's going to be some sort of a resolution by the end of this week. There is, it's like the truth will come out. It will win out and you will be allowed to move on. This is the grounding energy. So for me, this is the energy that says, I know that I'm right. I believe in this truth. I'm going to articulate who these people are, who these players are with tarot, and we'll do your love spread. I'll see you over there, Gemini.